Um, the fact that we have a, you know, it's the first hip hop fight, so it's, it's, it's monumental, you know, for the culture of hip hop and uh, for boxing as well, you know, and it's so crazy that it's at the same time as, you know, the biggest uh, hip hop festival that we have on the continent. So I'm very excited about it, but to answer your question, like, hip hop is a sport. My, my sentiment is exactly. Um, I think like we, for me, I think the biggest issue we have in South Africa is that the integration of like sports and music isn't aligned. You know, because like if you go look, if you go to soccer games, for instance, like that audience there can be the same audience that comes to our shows. You know what I mean? But like we are not, we're not in unison. Like we don't find soccer dudes. I mean, or let me say like. Hip hop artists, artists repping Paris jerseys or Sundowns jerseys in their music videos, you know, and vice versa, or going to cricket games. So, you know, I think behind the scenes, like a lot of the dudes are like cool with each other, you know, they follow each other on Instagram, but we're really not integrating the sports. In the States, LeBron James is the one who's premiering the new Drake song, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And like, we, we kind of really need that culture here, and I think like this is what we're trying to do with this. No? Uh, shout out Kaz, shout out Prim, uh, and everyone else that's here. I go by the name of Waras Nangini from OFM, uh, most of this. Question for Pretty Ajumini. So most people are out here saying that, you know, this is more of a PR stunt, you know, as a, as a musical artist with yourself. I just want you to let us know, where are you feeling right now? And some, how, what does this, this fight mean to you, um, as you know, as a, as a musical artist moving forward, and also as just someone that has been fighting for their whole life? I mean, for me, I think, yeah, it's a, it's a great PR exercise, you know what I mean? I'm not, we, I'm not gonna sit here and act like, you know, Cass is one of the biggest artists that we have on the continent, you know what I'm saying? So even him picking this fight with me, you know, it's, it's obviously bringing me a lot of more PR attention and that kind of thing, but outside of that, man, it's like, I'm a fighter, you know? We're waiting on the first of October, it's not about who has the biggest fan base, who has the most, engagement on the Instagram. It's like, yo, who has the best, you know, who has the best moves? Who has the strongest punch? Who who can take a punch the hardest? It's a real fight. So like right now, like we're cool, we're next to each other. There's no real issue. But in the ring, it's something completely different. You know, each of us needs to be like completely switched on. And and I'm a beast dog. Like I don't you guys are gonna find out in a week from now. Trust me, trust me. I think maybe with this fight specifically, you're the one who's gotten the most backlash on social media and people tweet. How do you take that in? How do you take focusing on a fight, being a dad, being a husband, being a musician and having to just have your men mental um, capacity still on point for yourself? How do you deal with people talking? Yeah, for me, like, soft cub is the best cub, like, I mean, like, <laughs> for real, it's like, there's nothing, absolutely nothing anybody can say to me that would switch off how I think about myself, you know what I mean? And, because I've got, like, a very close knit of people around me, like, who really love me, who really support me, my family, you know, I'm, like, a very family-orientated guy, so it's like, outside of the fight, like, I've been getting hate my whole life, and that's never stopped me, otherwise I would have stopped 15 years ago, you know what I'm saying? But we're still here for me. Everything God be here in patience and time. And, um, and and it's my time now. It's definitely your time to shine. All the best. I wish I could ask here, Wuti, hey, guys, where do you think this one's going? But before you do that, let's take another question. Yep, I'm back. Um, for cast this time. Papa uh, Hot. Your yeah, questions are difficult. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's start. Let's start smooth. If you are short your video after the oh yeah, yeah, that's the more local you Um, just a quick one. So you mentioned uh, just previously that you know the previous fight was you know uh, won by knockout. So can you please let us know now what are the terms and conditions now for this one? Yeah. So fortunately, with this one, we agreed that there will be a pointing system. Should there be, uh, should there not be a knockout, there will be professional judges that will judge the fight, which is great because we both know what's going to happen. We're not going to find out at the end of the fight. So we're both training for both situations, you know? 
So um, it's definitely not going to be a draw because of exhibition rules and changing the club the day before, none of that stuff, you know. Uh, we've agreed on everything before we started training. And yeah, those are, those are the, the conditions. He's gone. Uh, he's still <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm Bongi from Sunday. I just want to know if you have friends outside. <laughs> <laughs> do you have how to do this? Like, no, we're not friends. We're, we're not friends at all. Um, to be honest, we aren't an industry friend. Um, industry nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, but there's definitely a respect, man. I mean, I don't want to you know, we're cool. I got a lot of respect for, for homie. Um, uh, we kind of live in almost the same area, so it, now and then I don't see him all the time, but I see like a lot of people in his team. But um, no, we're not, we're not friends. So you're bumping into each other at the shops? <laughs> 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 no, it's not real. <laughs> 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 you know what? What's funny is, I think I've only had one conversation with Pretty like that's long. Besides, like he tells it show, you know. And that was when I was asking him for tips for gym. Like that's how, yeah, right. I, you know, I met him and I was like, man, you're always in great shape. How do you do this? And he's like, no, I don't really work out that much. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So like, I think that's like the longest conversation we've ever had. It was me and Papo, and we're trying to. You know, get tips from him on how to get in shape. The rest has always been like the cordial, you know, in the street conversation. What's up? How you doing? It's always been a uh, man respect. We've never had a problem. So I don't wouldn't say we're friends, but yeah, we don't hang out. Hey, hi everyone. I'm Anita from the stop. My first question for you is, um, I mean, we've seen you a lot of the same talk. <laughs> and uh, what would you say makes this fight different from the ones that you fought? And then, you're still going to get so we'll the first one with us that much. Um, would you say that worse is it? Oh, uh, what makes this fight different? You know, uh, I don't think not wanting to fight. At the end, at the end they really try to pull out. So many times, uh, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> like they tried so many times to get out of the fight, you know. And then the last thing they were begging on is for me to miss weight, and I didn't miss weight. And then it got, you know, I could see like that the, the, you know, the, the attitude that this, the dude didn't really want to fight. He's not as passionate as I am about the sport. So that's why after he got his W, you know, he ran away with the title. And then someone who wants to fight. Someone initiated the fight, and I know that he's definitely going to give everything in this fight. So that's what's different for me. Come on, that's a question again. The advantage. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people would think maybe it's an advantage that I've seen him fight. Yeah, and I've seen him fight like a couple of times. Um, yeah, but I also think he's also had enough time to improve on like where wherever he felt like he lacked, wherever people may have felt like he lacked. I mean, you've got coaches who I'm sure also saw the fight and like, oh, I think we gotta re-strategize, work this way. And he's had like a lot more time to to uh, to get back into training, come up with a different strategy. So I think, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I have seen him fight, but I don't, I don't necessarily think the fight is gonna be the same type of fight, yeah. Um, one of the things, this one was good. One of the things that we mentioned um, is highlighting the importance of the boxing sport. Where do you guys stand in that? I mean, for me, us just being here right now is already highlighting it already. Because we're not the only people who are fighting that day. Please, guys, like when you guys, blame you guys, but if you guys come Don't to come fight. late. Yeah, don't come late <laughs> to the fight. There's going to be other fights before. One of my homies, you know, who I train with, his name is Willems, a beast out here, trust me, like, you guys need to really see these guys, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a professional boxer, you know? Yes, in the last couple of months, 
I've had to train like I am, you know, and I've had to really immerse myself into it. But there's guys who really do this. I'm with them every single day who are like, you know, sacrificing their lives, they this they bread and butter this thing, you know. So they're gonna be fighting before me and Cass fight. Uh, there'll be a couple of them. Um, and I think just that. So you guys coming to see us fight, I want you guys to come also see the gents fight. Because the guys are fire, you know. South Africa is some of the best boxes like in the world, you know. Some guys from Eastern Cape, some guys from KZN, even some guys here in Joburg, like we have some amazing fighters. The, the whole celeb city started because we wanted to shine a light on boxing. Shout out to Mama Joyce, who's been uh, yeah, yeah, legend, 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 legend. That's, that's Don Queen. Don Queen. Legend, 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 legend. That's, that's Don Queen. Don Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's been uh, a great help to us in ushering us into the world of boxing without her we wouldn't be able to put the professional fights together and um yeah man active uh they chose not to fight on this fight my other trainer was like i don't want uh, distractions i want to just concentrate on your fight so uh yeah my dude uh uh Siko is also fighting i think a month or two weeks after me a month after me he's fighting you see he, he hurt his hand <laughs> uh, so man, I'm, I'm very, very passionate about boxing. I'm, I'm more passionate about South African boxing. So this is not something I'm going to be doing, you know, just right now. I, I'm going I'm to be doing this for the rest of my life. I'm going to be in, you know, the, the space and trying to push it forward. And yeah, that's the answer, man. We, we, we are very proud and keen to be um, shining a light on, on our champions. Thank you so much. We're going to take two more questions before we wrap it up. So, uh, who will be chatting to Bully? All right. Uh, my name is Blessing. <laughs> yes, yes. So, I have a question. Uh, uh, throughout your life, what has been dominant? Is it like a superiority complex or would you say inferiority complex? Before I actually land like where I'm going to be at. So, I'm going to read the <laughs> Sure. That's, a, that's like one of the greatest questions I've ever been asked in my life actually and um, for me it's, it's the second one the inferiority complex always i've never been the best people you know yeah yeah and as i was able to accomplish what i did in my life you know so definitely yeah inferiority for me okay yeah i, I think I, I i second that as well um for me what's different to what what Cass had said is that i actually very good at everything I, I did my whole life. But people always hated on me for being good at what I did from from sports. I mean, you know, if people go find my bio somewhere, you know, um, I was in the SA athletics team, I did 100 meter, 200 meter, uh, long jump, um, Morocco Swallows Academy. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna uh -huh. sit and speak about my, uh -huh. my stuff. Yeah. I never made it that far. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I mean, I've, I've, my parents always told me to be very humble. So I never, I never, I never imposed my greatness on, on people. In fact, I always wanted to, to, to share it and, and to help people. And like, you know, I was never the star player in the team. It's like, I want the team to win. It's not about me being the pro, you know? And that's how I feel about the culture as well. Even though it's like, yo, we hip hop guys, like, yo, Arabian, like, you know, I want to be the best. Like, I want us to all be the best. I want the whole culture. So, I don't know that I'm so patient. Sorry, let me just follow you up a little bit. Sorry. So, um, inferiority complex comes with uh, a lot of repression, guilt, and shame to say just a few. So, after the match, uh, what about, do you have a game plan of getting yourself out of the gutter? Because people, it sounds like both of you are pretty in your head about yourself and uh, it's really just up to you what you do with yourself or about yourself. Yeah. So you have a game plan on how to mentally draw yourself out of this repression and actually just give it up if it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> like facts. Like facts. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going there in there to play. Like I'm not playing with myself. I'm not cutting any shortcuts. I'm not skipping a kilometer. I'm not slowing down. I'm not complaining about it. Round. I'm doing everything. 
because I'm not losing this match. So if if I if I lose this, I'm I'm quitting boxing. But after I win this, I'm fighting Big Zulu. So that's my. <laughs> And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you guys are not going to see the big zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Um, but um, with me, you know, irrespective of what happens uh, with the fight, um, I, I, I'm still going to be very involved in the boxing um, community. Uh, I still want to continue training. Um, you know, uh, I, I even think, you know, later on, not now, I want to take a break because I'm, I'm tired. You know, I also like to just spend time with my daughter and just like, you know. Uh, but I think next year I'd like to get into like, you know, real pro fights. I'd like to take on a, a professional boxer, like uh, in my weight category, maybe. Uh, that's something I'm really looking I'm forward saying. to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's something I'm looking forward to, but even if I don't do that, I think overall boxing, training, is crazy, I know. But it's just good for my overall mental health, um, for my body, for absolutely ridiculous, you know? People don't understand what these guys sacrifice. It's a very lonely sport, you know, much in like in training and at home resting. That's it. The next day, training, back home, resting. You know, if they have the luxury to just go home and rest, if they don't work, start working a nine to five, or you know, because they're really not making a lot of money from like these fights, you know. Uh, but I really like to like continue doing it. Um, but I would like to take a break at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, let me stand up because um, he's part of the Moloko, so I know he has a few words to say to us as well. So let's take the next question. So, hi guys, how are you? All the best. Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I'm Asanda from SA. Then my question is to Paul. So first thing, do you anticipate how many rounds the fight would be? And uh, secondly, is there any specific part of your training that actually goes into dealing with possible technical knockouts? I know that's a very typical partner-like question. Your partners are worried that yeah. what happens if somebody gets knocked out, is he prepared? So that's what I'd like to know, please. Uh, number one, what's the first question? <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> 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 so, because the f is going to be uh, sanctioned by BSA, we have to follow certain rules that they have to, you know, that they give us. That, so we can't exceed five rounds as we are not professionals, we don't have our license yet. You know, so they've only given us five rounds. We, we don't need. You know, because we don't want to get to the fifth round. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, that's a lot! Sunana, man, sunana.